Hello everyone and welcome to Richard Burns Rally. We're at our first stage on our first season, uh, Howard Forest 2. You'll have seen that I did a recce on Howard Forest 1. Uh, so it'll incorporate a bit of that course, but obviously it's its own stage, so we'll split off and things like that. Uh, but really, this is going to be the first season highlights, really. So the fir there's six rallies and the first one is GB, as I've mentioned. I should be good at this, since so I'm from Britain, but obviously... I'm not that good as you can already see there, I'm just trying to get the car back and we slightly hit that log. Fortunately, uh, not too much damage. Now damage is on and uh, we'll see that later on as well. And I've got a bit of an eventful start. See the front there is just slightly crippled, hitting that stone. Fortunately, hasn't caused too much damage. <coughs> now you can retire in this game if you get too much damage. And so can your competitors. Now there's three difficulty levels. There's Rookie, Professional and also uh, world class. Now, I'm on professional at the moment, so obviously they're still pretty good, but it's not the world class difficulty. Uh, you're probably asking me why, but as you can see at the moment, I'm still struggling with this game. It's r you can't really push that much until you sort of really get your sort of eye in on the game, which is good, I suppose, because you know it's a challenge. You got to learn the game, you got to learn the car, you got to learn how the car handles and what you can do to actually sort of get around the corner faster. So at the moment I'm just trying to push, push, push as hard as I possibly can. I'll also try and listen to a co-driver, which you don't get on GT of course, because it's track racing. And then this unfortunately happened. Boom! <laughs> I laugh at that every time. I laughed at I jumped out of my seat when I did that. But that's actually caused the car to retire. As you would expect, hitting a brick support at full pelt. And that'd probably cause serious injury actually in real life as well. So this is Japan, this is the second rally you go to, and uh, we got a bit of a craziness from some spectators there, I think they were media actually. Uh, but I've unfortunately chosen dry gravel tyres rather than wet, and it's causing me a few issues. It's not too bad on gravel though, uh, you can sort of coat with it, it's gravel sort of keeps you in, but you can't go as fast basically. Uh, so I'm 30 seconds down, so you can see I've already had a bit of an eventful time. And I understeered off, <laughs> and that's me getting serious engine damage and retiring once again. So two rallies I've done, and two issues. So you just seen there that the fans have put me on track for this finish rally, and yes, this is special stage one again. Uh, I quite like the snow rallies. Uh, I find them quite grippy with snow tyres. I could put my foot down a little bit here as well, and push a little bit more. So when I come to season two, which I will be covering. Uh, I think I'll, I'm really going to push here at Finland. Now you can do setup on the car, and the cars are the amount of setup you can do is insane. Uh, I'm using the default setup at the moment, uh, but I think I might learn a little bit. I hope it might help with some of these stages. I nailed this hairpin quite well, knock it down to first, and accelerate it out pretty perfectly. At this point, I just want to do a good rally, basically, just so I can have some points on the board. And this is pretty much halfway in the season, as it's our third rally. So, you know, if we won all these, we could still be in the shot with a championship. And, uh, you know, it's pretty quick at the moment. And it's constant instruction from the uh, co-driver there. And, oh, we nearly roll it there. I think in real life that may have rolled because it's deep snow. So, you know, you're basically forcing all the car weight onto one side. But we pull out of here and I just didn't turn the wheel fast enough. Straight into a tree. And that's another stage retired. Three rallies, three retirements, and then we hit America. Now, I did say I didn't turn the wheel fast enough there. Basically, because it's on full force feedback and 500 odd degree steering or whatever it's on, you got to turn the wheel a lot. It's good actually, it's a good workout. <laughs> you know, you, you say you don't get exercise playing games, you certainly do with this if you have that set up. Now, in this American stage, I'm thinking, yes, why? Look how wide this stage is. So, uh, I can push it a little bit more, even though I was pushing too hard on the others. But at the moment, I'm actually staying on the stage pretty much. And uh, I can see where the stage is going, which is nice. Nearly hit a bird. And I think I need to start taking Overcrest a bit more seriously because it knocked the car out slightly there. And I've just gone straight into some stones. So this is the fourth rally. My car's on fire and I've had to retire. Now we're five minutes into this stage. And I unfortunately selected the wrong tyres again. I'm on dry tyres here and it's tarmac. So it's like ice. If you just heard there, the water temperature is really high. So I finished the stage, but the car is apparently undrivable, and I'm looking down at this thing, 
uh, the instruction panel there and thinking, why have you done that? I've actually finished the stage. So, the fifth rally, I retired from. That was the first stage you get. <laughs> so, all I thought was, Australia, I must finish this one. At least the stage, perfectly. And it's a pretty good start, actually. Come around there, nail the handbrake there, get it right. Could have gone in there a little bit faster, but at this point, I'm just trying to stay on track and also still produce at least some speed. Uh, I wasn't aiming for that guy there. <laughs> I was just a uh, racing line to get that right, uh, correct. Uh, you got to be careful with those side, the parts of the sort of stage on the side with the lumps. Uh, they can really pull you in, actually, I, I found. But at this point, I've got some real, real speed. An overcrest, once again, I need to get right. I heard there was a fast left and it was yellow. A bit too late, though, and I've gone straight over and rolled it. Fortunately, though, I, I didn't retire from that. Although I do call for help and then I'm going to start to struggle to see where I'm going from here. And the car's in a bit of a mess. As it has been on every rally so far. So we continue on in the stage now. And uh, trying to avoid these crazy media guys. Or They're not marshals, they have media on the back uh, on the replays. And I will show you a replay after this one as well. Uh, but I come around here. I'm not sure what happened there. I still don't know. But basically the car just pulled left suddenly. Uh, so I've just raised the body on. Thankfully, there was no tree there for me to go straight into because that would have been horrible. <laughs> uh, but I come around here, come around a bit too quick, and when I said about that sort of those hills pulling you in, it did again and nearly hit the tree. That was so close, nearly retirement there. But back onto the stage, and at this point, because I'm struggling to see, I'm now sort of really listening to the co-driver. I was listening before, but now I'm really listening. I could do with these fast sections, the co-driver speaking a bit quicker, just so I can hear about the corners quicker. That's what sort of cost me the uh, overcrest into uh, the fast left. Uh, so now I'm really concentrating on not really pushing. I just want to finish a stage, you know. This is the last rally of the season. Uh, I wanted to get the rear round here. It didn't quite happen, so I hit the barrier. Fortunately, that didn't retire me. <laughs> sort of my heart's like, oh, please don't hit anything now. I don't know how long the stage is either. So I'm sort of going, but unfortunately, the rear of the car hits that. I got engine damage for some reason, not sure what that's about, but as you can see, your car is seriously damaged and I have to retire. <laughs> so that's every rally I retired in the first season, so I'm going to have to really concentrate for season two, which I will show in here, and I'm going to just take it easy and build myself up. Uh, but I'm going to show you the replay now of that crazy, crazy uh, sort of crash I did now. Obviously, I didn't retire from it, but it was a bit nuts. I, I, you know, when I, when that happened, I sort of was like, "Whoa!" And uh, you'll see why in a second again when you see it. See, so yeah, as you can see, there he's got a camera, so it's definitely a media guy. And you can see the spectators there as well. But I hope you've enjoyed this first season highlights. It's a bit a bit comical, really. Uh, it's, I have to say, I'm one of the worst drivers ever, according to this. But you know, it is what it is, and I'll be better for season two. But thank you very much for watching and enjoy this last little moment.